I've been uh, learning VBScript for a few days now. I've been on and off, you know, playing around with the language. And uh, it seems um, pretty simple, um, not not too hard to understand and to learn. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, a small program, a small script that will uh, copy uh, values from one spreadsheet and uh, paste them into another spreadsheet. So the 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 source uh, workbook um, doesn't necessarily have to be open. It doesn't have to be active. So um, you just have to call uh, that spreadsheet and um, point to the cells that you want to capture. So uh, let's do that. I have an existing spreadsheet. This is a source of our data um, where it's, um, it's a bank account and it's some um, numbers and some values and so forth. And where I've named the cell or the worksheet that is, um, I named it data. So that's important because uh, when we, we actually call the workbook, we're going to say, okay, what um, what uh, worksheet do you want to work with? What worksheet? Because it could be multiple worksheets down here. Okay, so let's create uh, a new spreadsheet, which is going to be our destination uh, spreadsheet. Uh, basically, this is where we're going to have our uh, our script language. Our VB script is going to be housed within this spreadsheet. Um, so this is a source, and this is a destination. Okay, so let's save this spreadsheet first as a... Uh, macro enabled spreadsheet uh, because we don't All right and uh, let's call this report or just report okay report yep that's good all right and now um, let's just give it uh, some values um, so this is going to be um, um, let's just name the uh, um, based on the accounts right so it says one through one two oh it's just let's just call it account one and uh, one through six ring one two three four five Actually, this is four. <laughs> this is five. Then six. Okay, so that's going to, and then we're going to capture these values and place them into the appropriate columns. So, and then, but first, just like we named this uh, cell um, worksheet, um, let's just give this worksheet a name. So, this is where we can actually put all the totals. So, let's name it totals. Okay, we can save that. <clears throat> all right, so from here we good. We good as far as Excel. We're not gonna format it and make it look all pretty. We all we care about the data, right? So we're gonna create the script. We'll press Developer to our ribbon, and then we select Visual Basic. And again, we're not gonna mess with the the source spreadsheet, which is accounts. We only care about reports. So we right click on Excel, Microsoft Excel objects, uh, select Insert, select Module. Okay, and this is where we will create our script. Um, so what I normally do when I first create any script, and that's what most programming languages do, you create like a hello world program and so forth to test your script and make sure you can actually um, see some output, right? So that's when I'm going. I'm going to create a a, a subroutine. I'm sorry, a sub procedure that is <laughs> subroutine, one and the same, I guess. And um, give it a name. So um, just sim simple get values, right? And uh, from here, um, they just call the range. I don't know, is it range method function? But it's a range. So this is how we actually uh, <coughs> manipulate cells and, and columns and so forth, rows within Excel. So we're going to say we want range, this is uh, B3, right, which is 6,000. So where is my workbook? So B3 equals, let's give it the, uh, I'm sorry, um, not, not, not this data, obviously. We're working with the report. So it would be D4, D4. And let's just give it a value 700, okay? Hit save. So we should see 700 appear right here once we hit the run. And there we go, 700. 
Okay, that's good. So we know we can actually write values to then to the spreadsheet, to the workbook. So let's, um, let's just start declaring variables. Um, so what I would like to do first, um, let's say we want to write values, right? So let's call the worksheet that's create a variable called a sheet write um, as the worksheet. Right, so the worksheet, the worksheet is basically in this variable here. Okay. Um, then, what we can do now, sheet write. So what I normally do uh, is best when you declare, especially if you're actually reading and writing to uh, a workbook. I would like to um, once I call the variable, I would like to set it. So you know, kind of like getters and setters. Not really, but you know. So I would like to set it. So set sheet write um, equals a collection, which is the workbooks collection. I'm sorry, workbook. We're not dealing with workbooks yet. Worksheets collection. And what worksheet? The current worksheet, which is totals. So we'll just place the name of the worksheet totals save that okay so we declared a variable as a worksheet um, we set the worksheet to totals right so that's good but um, so we set so we set it and we actually called it but that doesn't seem right because um, we could actually we have to specify the name of the um, the name of the, the actual Excel spreadsheet. We would have like reports.xlnsm. Um, but since the script re resides resides inside here, we can actually use the this <coughs> method, right? So we could just say this. So I could do. I'm going to just cut this, right? And I'm going to just say this workbook. This workbook, right? So it'll be this workbook dot that worksheets that totals so instead of actually calling it and specify the actual name of it I'm gonna say this workbook so it'll run it knows exactly what I'm meaning <clears throat> which workbook to work with instead of actually I mean you could call it if you want you can actually write it down and call it in which we would we will do so for this one but this one is much easier to say this because it actually makes sense um, so for that and then now we can test it again let's just test it to make sure that we can still write to this cell here. So we have range, right, D4, so we can actually change that to make it um, sheet right, right? So let's just cut this, and we're still using that though, so I'm going to say sheet right, and then it'll just be a dot range. And let's just change this. Let's just make it zero zero eight no, 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 no. one two three. Save that. Run it. One two three. We're still gold. Okay. So, um, hmm. and for that we can actually change it. Let's just copy it to write to all the cells. And that's oops. And that's how simple it'll be. It'll be. So this one's D4, E, F, G, and so forth, right? So, and it's still four. And then we have an H. Okay, right? Yep. And if we save that, they should be one, two, three, all of them. But let's change the values a little. Let's just say some random numbers. Save that, run it, there we go. So we can write to it, that's good. But again, our goal is not to actually manually input data. We want to pull it from here and then place it here, okay? <clears throat> so, all right, so now we know the code is writing correctly to the cells, um, that's good. The next thing we need to do is get the values from the accounts workbook, right? So how to do that? Um, 
I think I can create a uh, another variable, and now we 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 wrote we written the uh, right um, variable right sheet right. So what's the opposite of right is read right. So let's read it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say dim sheet read right. Um, so is the dim sheet read mm, as worksheet because we actually read it from the worksheet and that's that so again like I said previously whenever I, I normally tend to do is whenever I declare a variable <coughs> I tend to set it to something right if if when again when it comes to spreadsheets um, so set um, sheet read I would like to to equals assign that to a workbook a workbook or worksheet uh, is it going to be a collections yes collections so it's going to be a collection of sheets right <clears throat> and then we have to specify which sheet we want because we can it could be a new several sheets um, down here right I'm sorry down here it could be several sheets so we can name the sheet data because that's the name of this uh, current worksheet data okay so now we know which sheet we want now the next thing we need to do is qualify the workbook right for accounts um, um, basically we can't use this workbook because it's not the current workbook workbook the way we did here right this workbook worked because we this the uh, macro uh, the, the script is inside of this spreadsheet so it actually knows this it is pointing to the actual spreadsheet but we can't do that for here um, so we can use the workbooks collection to actually qualify that right so we will store the workbook in a variable called the TC workbook read so let's just separate this out and let's just Yeah, I'll put it at the top. That's fine. Okay, so workbook read as workbook. And you know what's next? I'm gonna set it. Workbook read um, equals a collection, which is workbooks. And here is where we actually specify the name of the workbook. So that's going to be accounts. Right? So it's going to be if I can spell correctly accounts xlsx. So that's the name of that worksheet, that spreadsheet. So everything's looking good now. <clears throat> now that we have the workbook we can use a variable uh, work read that we created workbook read to get the worksheets um, so we have the since we have that work read equals let's see work work since Sheet read. We're gonna have to change this one here now. Um, yeah, worksheet. So instead of just calling this, right, we're gonna actually call that, right? So we're gonna put week read dot worksheet data. So it's actually pointing directly to this spreadsheet to this worksheet. Okay. So let's just cut that. We're going to place it right back. So we can say we read dot. There we go. Dot data. Um, yep. So this looking good, looking good. So we're complete right now. It's looking fine. The only thing we would have to change is the, uh, the range, right? Because we don't want to just manually enter any of this information, right? So be writing sheet write dot range d4 
which is we writing to these um, columns here. Okay, and then what we would want to do is to reuse the read sheet read right dot range, and then whichever column we want to use, which is here. So this would be B3, B4, and so forth, right? So B3. So again, we're reading from this, inf I'm sorry, we're writing to these columns, and we're reading from these columns. Okay, so we're basically reading these columns and writing them into this columns in this workbook. So just copy that into these other cells. I'm sorry. <laughs> Assignments. And then just change it around. So it'll be four, five, six, seven, save it. And now you should see this change magically with these values. Fingers crossed. There we go. See? Six thousand two five seventy three so forth their dollar signs is not in place because we did not specify that this was um, currency so let's change that and there you go and that was a uh, a little bit long for something simple right for this um, but you can see it's a few lines of code you take away the white space a few lines of code where you can actually um, take that data and, and you know, copy data from one spreadsheet and paste them into another, and it can be very helpful. You know, when you're creating reports and so forth, or you can just pull data, create graphs, and so forth. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, until the next one, uh, probably um, create a more sophisticated one as I get to know it more better, <laughs> more better. <laughs> um, or I would probably do a, a side by side with this script and a Google script or. A, 365 you know PowerShell script and see you know which one to use I mean I think in any case um, it, it depends on the situation where VB script is still being used heavily used in, in, in um, programming languages right now for as far as office you know um, so until the next time